All right, 2011 Kia Optima LX. This should be my last video for this car. Um, just to show you, I was talking about in the other video. It looks like maybe they, somebody went to a junkyard, which there's nothing wrong with, but not for these. I mean, come on. Someone's got this marked left front. Um, it's got markings. I don't know. You know, I mean, I'm only assuming that or it was in some sort of damage. And but you have to take this off to mark that. So this was off the car and put on. So which, but anyways, so here they're matched up. Got the old and the new, and I'm going to show how I put them in. As long as I get my camera positioned correctly. Just bear with me. It has coal in my garage. I got too much load on the garage, so I can't run my good heater in here with the compressor going at the same time. All right, let me see if you guys can see that from there. What you guys can see here. All right, so there's the... Sh I don't know if you guys can be able to see what I need you to see here. Yeah, you know, back out a little bit. You might be able to see. Hopefully you can. Because I ain't I'm not editing anything. Here's the old strut. Here's the new one. Like I was saying before about this bearing plate. So I'm gonna just put it up in there. I'm gonna hang it with one bolt, nut, on one of the bolts. I already put some grease on top of this to help preserve it. So you just line up the holes, make sure you're clear down here, line it up, and just by hand, start one of them like that. Good to go. So, sometimes this could be the tricky part. Lining this up, getting it in there. I already put the stabilizer in link, just snugged it on the uh, stabilizer bar. So now here's the fun, the fun part, getting this in position. So a lot of times you gotta pull this around. And wow, just threw it right in, didn't I? I lubed these. As you can see, <laughs> and they go in from the rear of the car towards the front of the car, which I don't understand engineering because I would think that, well, yeah, I do now because the nut's not going to buy right off the front like it would the back in the forward direction. So you just wiggle this, put that in. Now there is, I mean, there is movement in here with these, so... This thing I can do is look at the marks on the older on the other um, housing and then measure out with the bolt how far it should come in and out as far as any type of uh like I said in the other video, these are not camber bolts. They don't bite very well. There is a minor uh, alignment uh, for the camber on this. Well it's not minor, it's enough to tear your tires up so I'll have to let the customer know to go get alignment somewhere uh, as soon as they possibly can but that's basically how you put the strut in they tighten the, the top bolts which I have all three snug right now and then you're gonna go on from here you're gonna put your stabilizer bar on Stabilizer end link. You go on to put your necessary connectors back on, like your ABS wire, your brake hose, 
and then tighten it down once I get my adjustment here. So I'm gonna go get my, and we'll look at how the other bolts are, the marks on the other uh, strut, and get as close as I can to have them and send them off. I'll take it for a test drive and see how it feels when I'm done, and recommend they have to get alignment like ASAP. So that's, that's basically it. I'm just looking for the, yeah, here's the, the nuts for these. <clears throat> I always start everything by hand as much as possible. And this is, and this for, for this particular car, it's a 17 millimeter on the strut mounting bolts. So I use a 17 millimeter open end wrench and I'll put a, this should be 19 millimeter on the back side. A lot, most cars are usually 20, 22 millimeter. This one's a little bit smaller. I'm going to wipe some of my grease off so I can see where my, <laughs> my alignment marks are supposed to be. A lot of the people who can't have, don't have the equipment to do alignments, just got to keep that in mind. Most of these you can just um, bolt them right into place. A lot of them have slots. This one did not, but it has enough wiggle room in there that there will be a cam camber adjustment here. I got just loose enough where I can I got the bottom one kind of snug the top one loose and once I get where I'm supposed to be according to the other uh, marks on the other uh, straw housing then I'll snug it down then I'll tighten them down all right thank you for watching 2011 Kia Optima LX 2.4 liter uh, this is uh, February 15th 2020 thanks for watching